everybody and welcome to this video. Today we are going to take a look at managing multiple Kubernetes clusters that are deployed on vSphere using Tanzu Kubernetes Grid and we are going to manage them using Tanzu Mission Control. So let's get in. So here's my uh, vSphere setup. I'm going to use vSphere 6.7 update 3. I have a bunch of um, uh, hosts that are part of a cluster. You can see I have TKG cluster created uh, and a management cluster already deployed using TKG. So let's take a look at that particular cluster. So I'm going to use the TKG CLI. So as you can see, I have one cluster, the TAS TKG, which has four worker nodes and a single control plane. Now within this cluster, there'll be multiple namespaces, there'll be multiple workloads running, and as to users start accessing this cluster, uh, they might be deploying containers with all kinds of security you know, vulnerabilities. What I want to do is manage this cluster using consumption control so that I can apply some default policies as an operator before handing this off to uh, users or uh, development teams. Now, before we get to that, let's just go ahead and create another cluster using TKG just to show you how simple this is. So let's go ahead and create another cluster. And I'm going to use um, the uh, development plan because I don't necessarily need to use this for production. I'm just going to use this for demo purposes. And again, I can define my control plane or master number of worker nodes. I'm just going to stick to one. And I can also define my worker nodes. Uh, let's say I want to create two for this particular cluster. So TKG is going to go ahead and get to vSphere. And within vSphere, you'll start seeing that it's starting to clone some of the uh, images needed to uh, create this particular cluster. And within a couple of minutes, we'll have our Kubernetes API for this particular cluster to talk to. It's now cloning another virtual machine because we said we need uh, two worker nodes. So it's going to clone that virtual machine twice uh, to build those worker nodes. And then it's finally going to create a load balancer so that we can talk to the Kubernetes API. All right, so our TKG test TMC cluster has been created, so let's they take a look at our total number of clusters using the TKG CLI. So you'll now see we have two clusters. And um, before handing out this to development teams, I want to make sure I uh, def um, apply certain policies to both of these clusters. Now I can go ahead and individually do these policies, um, you know, get the cube config for each cluster define uh, the policy, apply it uh, individually, or I could you know, attach both of these clusters to Tanzu Mission Control and then have Tanzu Mission Control uh, define those clusters in a single click. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm now going to jump into Tanzu Mission Control and I'm going to create uh, a cluster group so I can start managing these clusters in there. So let's go to Tanzu Mission Control. Um, I have a couple of cluster groups already created. I'm just going to create a new one for this demo purposes. So I'm going to call the, uh, this uh, TKG cluster group. And uh, I don't need to add any labels and just hit create. So now that I have that cluster group, I'm going to start attaching both these clusters to TMC. So I'm going to get into um, clusters, uh, attach a cluster, use the same um, TKG cluster group that I created, and um, I can give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name um, TMC test, because that's the one that I used. I can give it anything I like. And I'm going to click register. So all I have to do is apply this command to the recently created cluster and that cluster should be attached to TMC. Let's copy this and go back to our terminal. And I'm going to fetch uh, the credentials for this cluster. And 
and use that context. All right, so I'm now pointing my Kubernetes CLI or kubectl to uh, the test TMC cluster, and I can just apply the command from our transmission control console into this cluster. So I simply run uh, the following, and this should download uh, a bunch of YAML files, configuration files, it will go ahead and download the TMC agent onto this cluster. And uh, once the cluster agent has downloaded and installed on this particular cluster, it will go ahead and ping Tons of Mission Control uh, control plane. And once that process is complete, we'll be able to successfully attach this TKG cluster into TMC. So this shouldn't take too long. So let's go ahead and verify connection. So it's all right, so it was able to connect to the agent on our cluster. So we go ahead and continue. So now you can see that you'll start seeing the different namespaces, workloads, etc., on this TKG cluster. I'm going to go ahead and attach another TKG cluster. So I go back to my TKG CLI. So I already attached the test TMC one. I'm going to go ahead and attach this one. So I need to change context. I'm going to get the credentials to log in so I can do simply TKG get credentials for task hyphen TKG cluster and then change to that context. Now I'm going to attach this cluster. So I go back to my cluster group, the TKG cluster group, and I can attach another cluster over here. I'll call it uh, TAS TKG, just to make sure that I have the same conventions and naming, and then hit register. So again, I'm going to get the similar attachment config. I, I just simply run this on that cluster and it's going to deploy the same agent on this cluster as well. And within a couple of minutes, you'll see that the agents have talked to the TMC backpane and we'll, um, we'll be able to verify this connection. So let's take a look at that. All right, so another cluster managed by TMC. So now within this TKG cluster group, we have successfully attached two TKG clusters um, that we just created. So now I can go ahead and apply policies before I hand off uh, these clusters to users, or even after that, right? If I want to make sure that my clusters are following default policies, I can go ahead and do that in a single shot. So to do that, I go into policies, once I have grouped the cluster together, I can apply different kind of policies to this particular cluster. I can define access policies, I can define an image registry policy, etc. So this is how we can manage multiple clusters using transformation control by grouping clusters together then, and then applying policies um, that can trickle down into individual clusters. Thank you for watching this video.